It's me, Juniper. So this is for you if you've chosen the first pile, pile number one. Um, so with Two of Logic, it says, don't be afraid to look at the facts and see the truth to help you. Yeah, so I drew this and wrote it. The Divine in the Child Tower. Now that I'm selling the mind thing. Um, from what I'm seeing here is that I see that your third eye is opening up. And what is hidden from you is that maybe for some of you, you don't know that it's opening up. And for some of you, you're trying to make a choice between something. And what's hidden from you is that the choices might be more straightforward than you think. Page of Pentacles. So this card makes me think of what's hidden from you is that there's someone around you that can actually really help you I think with the ram on the edge and that if you look more closely at I guess through what your third eye what your intuition tells you it'll be much more easier for you to decide feel like some of you might really benefit from not wearing shoes for a while and just relax your feet. That's a really random message I know. Um, I guess for some of you, if you really just cross your fingers and just take a leap of faith it might come out to reward you also i forgot to mention that the serpentine has something to do with um yeah the temperance card and the serpentine always reminds me of a tortoise tortoise's shell and this one especially, this stone, to me, it's like you might want to be a little bit slower when it comes to making your decisions. But at the same time, I think if you tap into your intuition, you'll be able to find your decision very soon, very quickly. Um, also, for some of you, you might not be seeing that you have to make a decision or that you have a decision to make. Three of Pentacles. So this might really have something to do with money or work. Um, yeah, there's a. So there's somebody there who might be help, able to help you here. I think this is it. Just take one more card. Oh yeah, just patience. That's all. I wanted to keep it quick. Thank you. Hi. For those of you who chose power two, with this ace of logic, true logic never disregards, but goes after the truth, looking beyond facts and statistics. Yes, I drew these on my inner divine child tarot. Not that I'm selling it. <laughs> it's just something I say. So what I'm hearing is that divine intervention is coming and that is something that is hidden from you. I see that you can actually know how to scry clouds. So yeah, you'll be able to interpret the clouds and see the messages in the clouds. Or maybe like you, when I was little, I used to make up stories from what I saw in the clouds. So yeah, new dawn is coming. So 
Yeah, Ace of Swords traditionally is also about the truth coming to you from a divine source in a way <laughs> or just the communication what else do you not see coming this is strange because i feel like some of you might feel inclined to wear similar clothes to what you wore when you were a child or that you fi suddenly find clothing from your childhood yeah and the selenite to me, the selenite really helps with um, relieving nightmares and it's just cool, right? It's something that you shouldn't put near water as well. So this one's a bit cracked actually. Um, so what's hidden from you? I feel like something new is going to be born. And what I'm seeing from the cracks, unfortunately. But I'm hoping that is something good for you. Oh! <laughs> Look what came out! The Ace of Swords. So something's really coming to tell you something. Maybe someone that is divinely connected to the divine. Or just someone who isn't, but is sent to you by the divine I hear there's going to be something that's going to give you your crown as in you're going to be able to build an empire and that's something that's hidden from you is that you might be able to reach financial maturity financial security through this message, through this revelation it's just something about coming out of the border like you're resurfacing and what is hidden? oh the tower card and death definitely you're being reborn and it is a divine intervention as I said before some people might be leaving your life which is hidden from you. Um, I'm getting the sense that somebody might be hiding something from you. So what is hidden? What are they hiding? Oh. Something about somebody having a community for some of you out there. Somebody might have like somebody else of their own or a community of their own. And that's hidden from you for some reason? Oh, what else is hidden? Okay, so this card wants to come out. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, that relates to how I was talking about there might be something that just the neighbours over there about um, some kind of revelation, some kind of turning point and the Wheel of Fortune you receiving some kind of idea that will be very divinely blessed in a way that it will make you a lot of money maybe yeah some of you might be realizing what, what is hidden from you that is being revealed to you is that you are an earth angel. <laughs> I don't know why I feel a little bit nervous saying that just then. I guess. Yeah, some of you might have actually felt wings growing out from behind your back. And yes, it's a weird feeling. But I think like a lot of you have gone through that. So yes, don't be afraid of it. What else is this person hiding from you? I'm hearing for some of you, they might actually have another romantic interest. Somebody, yeah. Um. So sorry about that. So what else is hidden from my card number two? Oh, 
from seeing this that's all <laughs> thank you for watching and please subscribe hello oh um mercy hello for those of you who chose part three um Yes, I drew these in a child divine tarot. Child in a divine, divine in a child tarot. I'm not really selling it, but I'm just saying. Um, I'm getting. Okay, so this is the world card, and it says revelations, completion. The universe has you, and you have the universe. So what I'm getting is that. A lot of you here are here for a divine mission to pass on a divine message towards people and also Tibetan courts is very high vibrational yes Tibet um, yes I've drawn the four animals according to the four direction of the Chinese Taoist culture tradition so and there's also the creatures of um how do you say it? I forgot the word for it but it's John Mark Luke and Matthew of the Bible in the Revelation or well, like the animals that represent them in the world card I'm also hearing some of you are shutting something out so what's hidden from you is that maybe you shouldn't shut it out and what's hidden from you is that you're like the light of the universe <laughs> you're like a light in the universe maybe it's not maybe you will well I don't know maybe some of you aren't aware of it yet but you definitely I'm hearing protection a lot of you will need protection so like protecting the all different directions of your house like the four corners like there are different protection methods there are the classic um, sacred geometry what would you call it? like light projections where you project your aura onto the walls and the floors and the ceilings creating some kind of seed of life geometric pattern and that's something that can protect you when you're asleep um, and there's crystals is calling upon different deities which is what some people do yeah but let's get on with the tarot oh four of swords four of swords yeah oh <laughs> it does seem like some of you are sleeping on your divine mission which is hidden from me but it's being revealed and yeah I feel like you're just doing a balancing act that might be quite dangerous and that's also something that's hidden from you you you're not realizing how dangerous it could be um, so it's a little bit of a warning but for some of you I'm hearing that you're trying to balance your time between different partners and that's hidden from you from other people <laughs> um and i think that's a pretty dangerous thing to do also i'm hearing some people are balancing different areas of life but i think there's one area of your life that needs to be removed in a way because it's hurting you and there's three parts so maybe it's something like for example you divide your time into 
a Venn diagram into three equal thirds and so it could be something like study, work, family and friends something like that <laughs> um, hmm. some of you I'm hearing excessive drinking partying the universe is just saying that you should put some things to rest What else did I hear in here? Seven or so. Yes, somebody is doing something sneaky. Could be you, could be somebody else. They always draw so many more swords in this deck. And I'm just feeling like somebody is a little bit trapped, but then it's somebody else doing something that can help them. So it is, in a way, that what the other person is doing is really just looking out for themselves, but what they're doing is also kind of helping the other person learn a lesson. Yeah, that was very vague, but <laughs> in general, yeah. What else is hidden from pile number three? I feel like there's just a lot of random messages. This is it? Oh my gosh. I generally don't like cars falling out by themselves. The fool. Oh my gosh. I hear that somebody is really being a fool, thinking that there's a fool again over here. Yeah, somebody's divine mes mes mission might be to develop, deliver divine messages through developing music. Something about you have a very big mission here on the earth, and there might be someone in your life too could be who needs to leave. So what is this thing or person that needs to leave their life? The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, it came out in the other pile as well. Could be a Virgo. Some of you might actually yeah. You do not preoccupy yourself with things that are not spiritually good for you or something that's going to like or not preoccupy yourself with something that's not going to help you build your future. This person might also be a Libra, a Libra. Wait, isn't I said Virgo? But it's this one. Oh my gosh, I don't remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. The only one I can't remember. So yeah, for some of you, this person might be so well hidden I don't remember them. Three of Cups might be somebody. Might actually be somebody really close to you who needs to leave your life, who is a little bit toxic towards you. You know, this is a dragon tower. Interesting, so just keep an eye out for them. What is this person? Who is what is this habit? Is 
Talcott came out of the Omaha's pile as well. Hmm. It's like a progression. First it's, in di first it's divine intervention. And then it's divine mission. And then there's this habit that needs to leave. It's a very destructive habit. This um yeah, I didn't want to mention this before, but also other tarot readers have said this as well, and other people. Shinada, for example, Shinada from Golden Lineage. Um, she said that. Well, for me, I think it's just not constructive to go on and have one night stands with different people. I just think it's a waste of time, but it's also. With what Shanetta said, she said that when you're giving too much energy with other people, to other people, and during intercourse, you and the other person become very linked with each other. And basically the emotions will really affect your emotions. And well, from my research, people have actually done that. Like, they've observed something similar in mice in the lab so two mice who have connected with each other sexually they are more or well, connected with each other emotionally and can often sense what the other mice mouse needed or they could actually psychically know how to um avoid the other mouse if they needed to do that i read this yeah, I read this this experiment. I read about this experiment a few years ago, but I don't know where to find this. So I can't really link you down. Maybe you just type in mice, um, sexual intercourse experiment or something like that on Google. Uh, well, I won't do that. But um, yeah, that's what I wanted to mention. Also. Another thing and also be careful of the devil or just evil and I think with protection especially with this card being connected so much to revelations it's very much about um, being careful of the consequences that you'll have to face because of your own actions and what was I going to say? Oh yeah, be careful of so the devil, the personification of evil in that because you have such a big life mission. Um, thoughts, feelings, different habits, things, people might try to try to get you off track, and so. If it helps you to think about it in the way that there is an enemy that is trying to like lead you astray, then it might be helpful for you to realize that I think you are on the side of the good and that what is hidden from you is that you are meant to be like a light bearer. A soul worker, maybe a star seed even, and that you are meant to help people here instead of just indulging. And also, yes, I just realized that I drew it as a lollipop of the earth. Yeah, please subscribe. <laughs> um, I don't think I have anything.